All right, party people, welcome back to the Dragway Engineer. I'm JR. I'm joined here by Hazelnut the Cat. You guys can't see her. And my favorite, Blue Moon. Number seven. Um, got a new drone. Been checking it out, trying to learn how to do it. So it takes like 37 years for my footage in 4K to upload the way I'm doing it right now. But, uh,. I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it's funny and I think it's useful at the same time. There's a lot to unpack here. I see it all the time. Two things, two things. Number one, drink another drink of your beer. Buckle up boys, we're going for a ride. So number one is everybody wants to be a fucking oil engineer PhD on the internet. and they'll do anything oh, I don't I don't trust 0 20 I use 530 1550 whatever whatever like if this is your normal ass daily driver traffic fucking car put what the fuck belongs in it in it like that's that's what you do and then the other thing is troubleshooting people suck at troubleshooting like they'll, I'll just change my transmission and it won't shift now can't be the transmission because it's brand new. No, no. What did you touch, fuck stick? What, what did you touch? Why would it be anything else? Do you think that my idle air control motor is bad? No, I don't think your idle air control motor that was working fucking fine before is not working now. So this dude changed his ZF5, and, and it was working fine. And he changes his ZF5, and he puts Mercon, Mercon 5 and two quarts of Lucas oil, recommended by his grandpa, who drives semis and does all his own maintenance. I do this shit for a living, bro. They always do this shit for a living. Therefore, their advice is beyond reproach. Peepaw said, Now shifting into third and fourth, it grinds. Well, fuck stick. It's the Lucas. It's the thing you did different. It's the thing you did different, first of all. Second of all, Lucas heavy-duty oil stabilizer is straight 50 weight. And by straight 50 weight, I don't mean 50 weight with all the normal bullshit they would put in their straight 50 weight oil if they still sold such a thing, but they don't because it's not 1984. I mean, it's literally straight 50 weight. There's no anti-foaming agent. There's no nothing. It is the base stock that they use to turn other shit into 1550 weight or 550 weight or whatever. Um, there's nothing to the shit. It, it literally nothing and then they charge you 15 bucks for a fucking quart or a gallon or whatever extends engine life it doesn't i promise it doesn't it's because it's oil and you dilute it by eight quarts or five quarts or whatever and, and it doesn't blow your shit up doesn't mean it's helping and in order to actually determine the best oil or you'd have to have a bunch of the same engines built on the same day that fired up at the same time and ran till failure with different combinations of oil in them. Otherwise, you don't fucking know. And I don't know. And nobody knows. Hazelnut, the cat, does not know. Everybody say hello to Hazelnut. Hazel, say hello to the people of the internet. Selfish bitch. So, there's my little rant on Lucas or Am's oil or fucking whatever unicorn horn bullshit you want to use. Knock yourself out, but you're not doing anything because there's absolutely no test because it's in nobody's interest to do that. Like, why would Am's oil want to prove that their oil is no better than anybody else? Project Farm did a bunch of stuff, but anyway. And then secondly, we go to troubleshooting, which is the thing you changed go back to the thing you changed like if your shit started before and you changed your battery and now it doesn't start look at your battery look at your battery cables look at the post look at the terminals you'll probably find that you fucking forgot one of them and instead of arguing people to death on the internet about whether or not you did everything perfectly because your peepaw is a fucking semi mechanic maybe you ought to humble yourself since you came to the internet to ask for fucking advice and take what people are giving you anyway that is Troubleshooting 101 with JR and Hazel, sponsored by Blue Moon. Not really. You didn't give me any fucking money, Blue Moon. Where are you fucks at? They don't even give me beer. I don't know where Blue Moon's at. They don't want to tell nobody. Brewed with Valencia. Golden, Colorado. Is this fucking Coors? Jesus Christ. Established 1995. Anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy a beer of your choice. 
Happy Pride Month. See you next time on the Driveway Engineer.